And also, by the way, none of you are allowed to get angry at me for cable management, okay? Let me be very clear. None of you in the comments are allowed to get mad at me for cable management. These things are all over the place because I am all over the place. I have changed this room up six times in the two months I've lived here, and I am not gonna permanently mount cables if I think I'm gonna change them three weeks later. You have my solemn agreement. If I leave my setup the way it is for three months, even just three months at a time, I will fix up all my cables. That's a promise to you. It's so beautiful and tragic. Oh, it's so beautiful and tragic at the same time. You guys remember that video? Well, funny enough, this is my second take taking this video, and I recorded the other one yesterday. And, uh, you know, this whole point of the video is to say that I kept my promise of keeping my cable management together for the first time since I moved out. The funny thing is, is that, uh, you know, I kind of did a terrible job recording this the first time. So before, you guys saw the computer was down on the ground. Let me tell you, rule number one, never make the same mistake that I made for so many years, or at least a year. Because with the computer on the ground and the dog, this thing, the amount of hair underneath, I don't even want to... I don't even want to tell you guys. If you live with an animal that goes in your room regularly and your computer's on the floor, number one, look underneath so my point can be proved. And number two, move that thing off the floor, whatever you gotta do to do it. It looks so nice. These are the only wires that are visible on the desk. Take a look. There's nothing. Compare that to before. There's nothing. Like, there's a couple, yes, you understand. And like, there's a couple of hanging wires right here. Focus, please, autofocus, come on now, please. And I'm not using manual focus, I can't do it right now. There's a couple of hanging wires, but this is about it. Look behind, look at this. Oh, autofocus, come on, oh, autofocus, not the, po not the pole, come on, right now. Don't make me switch, don't make me switch back to manual. Look at this, it's so clean. I know there's still cables, but I can't really do anything because that's a subwoofer and there's five cables that go to that thing on the ground. I can't put the subwoofer on the desk because that just wouldn't make any, it would, it would be an above woofer. It wouldn't be a subwoofer, right? All the cables, I mean, okay, you're kind of seeing the, the butt end of it for the most part because cable management underneath here is not really the easiest for the most part, but I mean, L, I think I did a fantastic job. So we're gonna try that again. This is the new cable management with actually nothing there. Take a look around the back first off, nothing. And then you move around the front, ready for it. Oh my, there's nothing. I mean, ignore, what do people do about this up here? I have no idea. Just look at this, there's nothing. Cable ties, the only five cables that have to go down because of the damn subwoofer on the ground, can't put that up. And the two cables go into the power strips up there. I can't do anything about those. Those have to come up, can't hide them. But other than that, I'm proud of it. I took my time, I kept my promise, and this is the first time I've had good cable management. Kara even complimented me without me saying anything to her, without even pointing it out. She's like, oh damn, your cables look nice on the old setup. I don't even know what her reaction is gonna be on this, but I'll tell you guys something. I am damn happy about it. The setup's looking beautiful. I even took some time as well too. I routed cable, routed. I routed ca uh, cables, oh my God. I routed Kara's ethernet cable all the way around the room. So it goes down here, behind the couch, behind Frank, fucky Frank, behind the futon, and then out the door. The whole way, because I'm like, you know what? We want no cables, and I'm not gonna have that little thing strangling across like it did before. So that whole thing is wrapped around, and honestly, I think that looks pretty okay. But as you guys can see around the back here, I didn't touch anything really with the cables on the desk. I I don't know how to deal with this. I don't really know what to do for here. Because I, I can cable tie a couple things, but they're still gonna be here. The cables come out of the monitors. The monitors move. Like, all this stuff up here moves a lot, right? So I don't know how to conceal them. I, I don't know. Anybody that knows how to do it sort of thing, you guys tell me your magic, because I I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with this. I think this looks fine. All the cables are black, so it matches the table. Everything's beautiful. It's just down here, and the lights... Oh, it looks so good. And of course, because the table does move, it can go up and down and these things just, they go down with it. Nothing moves, 
I mean, you, you can see the cables moving a little bit, but I made sure when I managed them to make sure that it was done while the table was standing upright. So as you guys can see, when I go ahead and pull this up here, keeping an eye on that cable specifically, and I guess those two, they extend up just a little bit right to where they need to, and then they rest. It's nice. Thank you, Cable Ties. Thank you, Adhesive. Thank you, 3M. I love you all, and I hope you guys like it, because that's my setup. I mean, the camera would be going right there, but I'm filming with it, so, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's my baby, and I think she looks great. Now, the other reason that getting this whole setup done was such a big deal for me is that you guys remember that I used to do standing videos? You know, videos where I would stand up while recording instead of just sitting on my ass all day? Y you remember I used to do that? Well, the thing is, I have a standing desk, and, and this is a standing desk. But because my dumbass never set on my setup to actually work where it would work up and down, where things wouldn't fall over and shift and break on me, I can never actually stand up. And that's different now. Take a look at this. You're going up. We're going up, baby. Look at this. The mic's following me. The camera's following me perfectly. Everything's going. My legs are extending. I can stand all the way up to if I want. And it's gorgeous. I haven't stood in... The We're a little bit too high up. Hold on, hold on. There we go, bring it down just a little bit lower. I haven't stood up in this entire time I've been here, and it's been detrimental for me. The whole reason I bought the standing desk was for health. The standing, sitting on your legs is not sitting on your legs, dumbass. <laughs> sitting on your butt, sitting on your ass is not good for 8, 10, 12 hours a day when you're here doing work, especially if you're not working out all that frequently, you know what I mean? Just some games, you know, you want to be sitting down, you want to focus on like Rocket League, for example. Things like House Flipper, it's like Minecraft, less strenuous games where you don't need to like put all your focus into the game and you don't want to put any of your focus into standing and keeping a good posture. It's so nice to be able to stand. Like, my whole setup, all the cables and everything are beautiful. They come up and down with me. And this is an example. I don't want to call out a friend. I don't think he'll care. But I don't think I'm alone in the whole deal. Standing guests are incredibly hard to manage for the unexperienced like myself or the inexperienced. John has tweeted out this photo here. And this is him with a standing desk. And I imagine he's been in the same boat as me for a while. I know I'm not alone. And I know that we're both... Equally is terrible for the most part. I'm sure there's other people that can do saying that's a lot better, but hell. The other thing that I want to talk about really quickly is you guys might have noticed that I was away from YouTube for about a week. I also want to start taking breaks when I'm ill. I was sick with a sinus infection for a week and I just was not able to go on the computer. It kicked the crap out of me. It wasn't bad like a flu. I just couldn't record. I couldn't speak without pain. I couldn't sit and stare at a screen without pain. It just wasn't really all that good. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not. But since my six year video and making that kind of like reassurance that I'm just going to take my time and be a bit more patient with YouTube, I was uploading daily. In fact, uh, even though a lot of the videos were a couple minutes shy of midnight, good old good timing self, I want to get back in the habit of uploading daily because I feel like that streak's really important to me. And I've definitely gotten a grip back for YouTube at the moment, which I love. We're going to get right back into videos. And it's great because I told you guys I'm trying to find myself and I think sticking with a daily upload is going to be really important for me. But with that, I think it's also incredibly important to take time off of work when I'm not feeling well. Because something I haven't practiced in all my time doing YouTube is whenever I got sick, I would always push myself to get on the computer and continue working. And the only other person I've really been around that's like really kind of seen how I act in terms of health that I've allowed in for the most part is Kara. She's lived with me for a long time now. And she knows that when I had the flu, high fever, stuff like that, I'd still be grinding out videos. She knows it was terrible for me. Because when you're on the computer, you're not resting as much as I want to call it rest, sitting in a chair and being motionless. My, my flu lasted probably a week longer than it needed to just because I didn't take the ample time to rest. So with that... I'm going to be uploading daily because I believe in myself that I can 100% believe that I can. But whenever I'm sick, I'm just going to cut it off and be like, hey, taking a quick break from YouTube for a little bit. If I can feel it coming on and I want to pre some videos, that'd be great. But hopefully you guys understand that. I know YouTuber, like, I don't know. It's weird. YouTubers kind of, like, we know how detrimental downtime is and a week could really take off a lot of views this video probably won't get as many views because it wasn't uploaded in succession health is important too and i feel like if i'm constantly always on the computer sick or not that's not really going to be good for my health and i'm just going to wind up getting more sick because honestly you guys know me i've i get sick like every three months my immune system is trash and i think taking a break and letting my body run its natural course getting well and exercising and stuff like that when i am sick is probably going to prevent more illnesses in the future 
Crossing fingers and hoping so. So that's my kind of schedule. You guys won't see me when I'm ill, but otherwise I should be on here recording daily. As for the content I'm going to be posting after this little break here, House Slipper is definitely continuing. I love the game and it seems like a few other people on YouTube and Twitch are loving it too, which is great. The game's gaining a little bit of traction, which is awesome. So I'll definitely be hopping on that. Rocket League is ending its season in a couple days, so I'll definitely be continuing that game. I have a love and hate relationship with it, considering a community is toxic as hell for the most part. But the game's great, so I... I can't pull myself away from it, no matter how hard I try. Seriously, help. Minecraft's great. I don't know why I'm loving the game again, but I don't know. It's a great game. I, I really just think that Minecraft's a fantastic game. The community is interesting, but I mean, apart from that, it's, yeah, I really like it. So I'm going to be continuing uploading Minecraft. Ark. Oh, that's the heartbreaker. I told you guys I was going to be a bad YouTuber for a couple more months. I'm going to cut Ark Aberration short. I already finished the series. I just did the little epilogue, so it's not the hardest pill to swallow. There's just a lot of stuff you guys didn't really see me do on there, and I just don't really see myself hopping back on for a couple episodes. I don't know. The dinos have already died by this point. Let's be honest. I've been terrible about it. Extinction is coming out soon, though. The new DLC that'll replace Aberration. That's coming out who knows when. It's supposed to be, like, in the next month, but it could be the next couple. I don't know, but whenever Extinction drops, 100% recording that as a brand new series, so that'll be sweet. And Pixark, I think you guys uh, kind of know this for a while, especially off the videos. Pixark wasn't really received the way I wanted it to. I don't really think it was for anybody for the most part. I thought it was going to be great. I mean, Minecraft and Ark combined. But everybody I wanted to record with dipped off immediately. The game was brought out into early access way too early. I d it's just early access was a joke, honestly. They had way too many bugs. Xbox, I don't even think... I think the majority of players refunded the game because it was just terrible. The support was lacking and you couldn't progress. There were no servers on Xbox. It was horrific, actually. And to be honest, the game just, I don't know. I talked to Jim and Italian about it after they were done with like episode 12. And I'm like, hey, how's the game going for you guys? And they're like, yeah, you know, we've kind of already done everything there is to do. You get the point. I am so upset about it because I wish the game was better. I just don't really think I had as close of a tie to the game as I would have liked. I wish it was a brand new thing like Ark, but Pixar just was put out with way too little content, way too imbalanced, and just not enough things to do in there. Way too many bugs as well. Even when they said that they were fixing bugs, I tried building a raft after they patched it one, two, three times, and I still couldn't build my damn raft. I don't know, man. So Pixar's going to drop off there. Uh, it's a sad day for Ark viewers i love you guys i know you're around just hang with me until extinction i promise oh it's gonna be great as for rocket league minecraft and house flipper video lovers you guys are gonna be continue to be entertained so hopefully you're okay with that again i'm really sorry but eh, you know executive decisions that kind of suck sometimes and to end it off the whole thing that i was talking about with the chair this beautiful herman miller behind me i'm not sponsored i wish i was oh my god this is an expensive chair what I want to point out is when it comes to your posture and your back, I want you guys to weigh in how much time you spend at your computer versus other things in your house. Because this chair for me was $1,200. I pay a mortgage. I pay bills. I pay a lot of other utilities. I have a lot of other things to spend my money on. This was not the easiest purchase for me. But then I thought to myself, well, think about it. When you're buying a sofa and a couch out for your living room, it costs $2,000 and you're on it for maybe two hours a day. Why would you not spend at least half of that money on a chair you spend half your day in, right? It's going to be better for when you're older. So for anybody that's out there looking for chairs or what you can afford, don't skimp on it, right? Find a chair that's good for you with posture. Find one that works for you because this chair works for me. And you, you'll see a lot of other YouTubers in it. I think Jericho works with another one of these chairs. Preston recommended this back to me like two years ago. John has picked up another one of them. I don't know how many. I think Tim the Tapman also has one. I'm not sure. I just know there's a lot of other YouTubers and content creators that work with these things. Posture is important. So I'm not going to recommend these guys for everybody, but just saying when you're working with chairs, just get one that is going to support you and is actually good for your back. Don't just get one that looks cool. Take care of yourself. That's all that I'm asking. Just take care of yourself and be aware. Apart from every note in the video, thank you for watching. Take care. Hope you have a great day. And I'll see you back tomorrow for the continuation of the videos. So long as I don't get sick again. Hey! F's in the chat and a bless up for that. Jesus Christ. Have a good day. See ya!
I don't really know why I'm filming this. It just it's a cool angle. I got, I got nothing to say right now. That's my camera. Just a cool angle. I don't know.